What's up folks, it's Fozzy here, I hope you're all absolutely having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another squad building video for FIFA 22 on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best Premier League team you can build for 500k. So if you've sold everything in your club and you have 500k to work with, this is the best team you can build. Obviously, at this point in the game, you may have some of these players already. You may have some SPC cards, some objective cards. As always, we avoid using objective and, uh, and SPC cards in, this, in these videos at the minute just because it's not guaranteed you'll have them. Maybe in the future we'll start including them in as some different builds and then we can offer alternatives. Um, but for the most part, we try to avoid that just in case you don't have them. But obviously, if you have some players in this club already, it might free up budget for more upgrades. So if you do enjoy the video, please do leave a like, and it'll be greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, please do hit the subscribe button. Just helps grow the channel. You guys have been going, showing great support um, these past few weeks. I've, I've we've started to upload more, and I really do appreciate that. So hopefully it continues through 2022. So let's crack into the video with the best Premier League team you can build for 500k. Okay, guys. So normally I build the team fully and then just sort of flick through it, but I wanna I wanna be able to talk whilst I'm adding the players in. So on the goalkeeper front of things, I'm gonna have to go on the concept players here for all of these. The goalkeeper is gonna be Mandy. Um, as we always say with um, goalkeepers this year. It kind of depends on the look of the draw, really. Some people use a certain goalkeeper as a crack. Some people use goal the same goalkeeper, they're awful. So, uh, in my experience, so Mandy, he's because he's six foot six, um, and obviously he's got two star weak foot. Doesn't matter too much for a keeper, but he's six foot six, which just makes him an absolute mammoth in goal. And he comes for crosses. And the only thing this card's really missing is saves of feet because he's so big. He's dangling anyway. He makes a lot of good saves. Uh, and he's a thousand coins. You can't ask for much more. Alternatively, you could go for De Gea, who I think is six foot four, and he has saves of feet trait. Um, if you prefer that, or alternatively, use any Premier League goalkeeper you have in your club that's over like the rating of eighty two, likes of Ariola and upwards is fine. So, but that's what we're going to put into the squad, just because I personally have had a lot of a lot of good games with him this year, and I think he's definitely worth having. Um, we'll look at the centre back partnership now. And the first is actually going to be someone I have in my club. So we'll flick through and add the nice colourful card in. And it's Soyuncu. Now I packed him when he was only 50k. He's now up to 83,000 coins in the market. And I'll say all these prices are for Xbox. I've had 41 games with him. And he's probably one of my favourite centre-backs in the game. I was worried about the medium, medium work rates. I can't lie. Um, but he's a beast. Like He has where it's 96 aggression with 88 strength. With good, good awareness and his interceptions. And his agility for and balance for centre-back is very good. He just wins the ball back for me so many times. I've watched him bully like Mbappe and stuff. I just for the for the this is one of the few times where and it's because he's a Leicester player from Turkey, so the links aren't there. It's one of the few times where like a promo card from the Premier League has fantastic value for money. So and you'll see that with a couple of players in this. The players who aren't from me and nations or aren't from the big clubs in the Prem, they're actually very affordable. So Sancho goes into the team, absolutely insane card. Um, could not fault him at all from my experience with him. And his partnership is going to, you're going to be spending 47,000 coins. You might know where I'm going from this, but it's going to be Varane. Now, I did consider using the new uh, feature team of the week, Sanchez. But when looking at that Sanchez, his pace put was just too big. Like even, Varane's got the perfect work rate here for centre back, medium high, 6-3. Varane has a bit of a pace split, but Sanchez was even worse again. But the plus side with um, Sanchez was he had more strength, aggression, and better agility and balance. So that's one where you can maybe change things. If you either don't like Varane or don't want to spend the coins on him, uh, or maybe you get um, the Sanchez for the, this weekend, put him into the team, he'll still be good. But I think, although Varane's not as overpowered as he used to be this year in the game, I still think for 47,000 coins, for an 86 race in the back, he will do the job very nicely, especially beside that Suyanku, who will pick up some of the slack. Now, uh, there are two more winter wildcards in this team, and we're going to look at them now. So the first one is going to be our left back, who is Tierney. Uh, there's honestly a few options you could have used here. I did look at the Cornet card instead, uh, but when I went off it and compared them, the Tierney card just knocked him out of the park. He's got high high, which you know, perfect for a fullback. He was getting up and down the pitch, left footed, uh, three star, three star. I know, I know some people might want more skills and uh, skill moves and weak foot on, on their fullbacks, but honestly, for for me, the three star, three star is fine for Tierney. Pace is fantastic. His passing is very good. It's the free kick accuracy that lets him down, but for a fullback, you can't fault the passing. His dribbling is good across the board. I'll say at this point for fullbacks, it's kind of the best we get for dribbling. It's the same with Spinazzola. It's the same with the Delian card. So his dribbling's bang on what the power curve in the meta is right now. 90 defensive awareness though, and this is what won it over the Cornet for me. The Cornet only had 80 defensive awareness. The Cornet does have a bit more stamina, but then Tierney wins on strength and aggression as well. 
no trace to speak of but you know 71,000 coins for this left back again um if he uh, guarantee if he was if it was a club or an arsenal and the nation was different this card this card's worth a lot lot more and obviously that plays a factor in all the cards you can say that about him a lot but again it's just a good value for money card so i really like the combination of him and so i can't lie and the right back role is interesting if you want to save coins you can go with cancel or a walker Walker's got the pace, which is what everyone uses him for, but I don't like him this year. I don't think he's very good. I think he's very easy to get by, very predictable. Um, Cancelo would be your other option, but we're going to go with Aspilo Uh And, you know, you can... He's going to be a right wing back, isn't he? He is. But he got the, he's been given a huge pace boost, and this is the thing. Big pace boost, good, and a good boost across the board. He is medium-medium, which wasn't quite as ideal, but... It, it's not as bad uh, as people may maybe think out to be, especially if you want one fullback going forward. You can let TNA advance and just as pull quite a step back. But his passing was just too good, the dribbling was too good, and the, the defending was much better uh, than Cancelo's for me. And I think at this point, while Cancelo is still very good value for money, it's like 14,000 coins. For 39,000 coins, as pull quite with like the, the traits, and it may not make too much of a difference in game, but. I feel like this card is just very good. You put a, a shadow on him for, as a fullback. It's a very good card for this point point of the game. I think many people were overlooking him, uh, which is why the price is low. But you guys can take advantage of that, and that, that's one of the big things with the Prem. You need, you need to be aware of where you can take advantage and pick up cheap players. So we're going to look at our our main defensive midfielder first here, and I'll say one of the things for me, and you hear it in other videos, I the the Premier League has attacks with it. And it can be very, very ex overpriced and expensive, and he's going to be a CDM. On Yinka, it, it hits that nice bubble. He obviously, he's been out for a little while now. He's 41,000 coins. He lost pace, but he got boost everywhere else. He's a high high, so you can just put him on stay back or drop between defenders. Um, and he's just a good defender. He's a good defender. There's not much more to ask. Outside of going and buying Kante, who's, I think, well over 150,000 coins, um, there's no one really else. The uh, Thibaut, the Watford player, Thibaut, who is 70,000 coins as an SBC, he would be perfect here. If you completed that SBC, use him instead of Onyenka. But, as we said, not everyone has that. People may have just got the game and they missed out on the on the uh, table SBC. Then, my next option is Onyenka for you for the budget. Outside of that, it's very, very limited. So, um, I would slot him in. Uh, he, he looks like a cheap Kante, to be fair. His agility and balance is nuts. He can somewhat pass the ball. And his defender is good as what you want for a CDM. Hard to beat for the for the forty thousand coin price mark. Now, when we're building these teams, we try to get it for a variance of like formations. So we're going to have one core defensive midfielder. We're going to have a box to box player that can defend if needed in a CDM position, and then we're going to have a cam that covers you for like four one two one two narrow. It covers you for four two three one with a four four two somewhat. Uh, you may have to play someone as like a false nine or someone out like wide. That, and then move a winger into striker but it just covers you for a nice wide variation uh, of formation so the box to box player we're going to go with there was two options you had Bruno Fernandes or you had Kevin De Bruyne if he's going to pop up and I'm searching him on the transfer market what am I doing now he does have a promo card and an inform but at this price point you know we're going to spend another 44,000 coins and we're going to get his goal card in for me why he won over Bruno Fernandes got he's really just he's got a four star five star and he's high high i think fernandez is a three star four star this is another one where you that's a decision you guys can make um they both have outside of the foot shot trait uh both like long shot uh and all that good stuff but the passing on De Bruyne is just so good. When he gets into the, the box, he, he will score. Um, the defending is good enough for a secondary defensive midfielder and a box-to-box. -box, and the stamp's good. You can put Bruno Fernandes in if you want. They're basically the same price. The, it won't vary things too much. But for me, I prefer to get this card, probably throw a shadow on him, and let him get to work. Just looks very good. Maybe the engine if he, if he looks a little bit too heavy. But he is the guy we're going to be using as the partnership with Onion Get as like the sort of the center mid CDMs. And then when it moves on to the cam, this is the game where if you have completed the SPC, if you're watching this video after he expires, or maybe uh, if you're watching it right, he's now and you're not too sure and whether you should complete him, I have just posted a player review on the channel that'll be linked down below. Uh, I suppose I have. Where's he at? So he does have an SPC out right now. It's his headliner card. I'm on the damn transfer market again. What am I doing? He has his headliner card, which is a very minimal boost over the team of the group stage. We're going to go with the team of the group stage as it's 19,000 coins on the market. It's dropped since the SBC came out. The main difference, he has one less stat everywhere else except physical, where it's three less. The card is just good. For, for a cam for 20k, high medium, right footed, 5 via. His dribbling is really tidy. The reactions in the composure are that a little bit lower, but when you're paying 20k for the card, it's hard to beat. 
good pace, solid stamina. You want to boost the sh for me. I mean, I, I, I the player review will see I use a hunter on him. You want to boost the shooting, especially if he's playing camp. He's got flare and I said the foot shot. There's a range of different uh, camp styles you can use use on him. It's kind of personal preference, but I feel you definitely want to boost the shooting. If you're not too reliant on pace, then all good. You can use like dead eyes, marksman stuff like that. But if you do want the pace boost and the shooting, probably going to be a hunter. But again fantastic value for money so that makes what three players now we've got, we've got ben rama uh even on yank out tyranny and Stjern, good great value for coin even as pull quest so this is i've really gone for the best value for money premier league team so far and this is the back line and the midfield and then we've got some extra coins to spend in the attack so our left midfielder if we flick over there's really two options here uh and you'll see why we picked who we picked in a second you can have either Mane or son we're going with Son, um, really just for the, you'll, you'll see in a second why we've gone for Son with how we're going to line up in game uh, for things. He's got the five star weak foot. The only gripe I have with him as an attacker is the high, high work rates. I don't get on with him too much, but he's still, he, he's really good at scoring. I mean, he's got 87 shooting, he, five star weak foot. He's got the finesse shot as well. So you can whip those shots in with him with, on either foot. Um, he's the sort of player that I'm saying if you want to go to 4 4 2, uh, maybe you put him up front alongside the striker that you'll see in a second. People use a mix of engine or hunter on him. Engine to boost the balance, uh, and then the shooting's good enough already, especially for a wide player, or the hunter if you want uh, the max pace boost and then the shooting boost. So it's kind of personal preference, but again, he's 29,000 coins. Very good value for money player. And this is what I'm saying. Obviously, the, the high, high end cards, like the, the crazy expensive icons and like crazy expensive promo um, prices and stuff like that, they, they can struggle to, to be obtained. But uh, the likes of these cards for 30k, really hard to beat. You can build a competitive team for cheap. So he goes in our left mid spot. Uh, I think my lone version is going to go in there. Uh, and then for our right, right wing position, you're going to see why we didn't pick Mane. Because um, he's actually going to be our right winger playing off chemistry. So he'll be on seven chemistry, which is perfectly fine whenever you get loyal in a manager. So he slots in there. All good. And the reason for this is... The right wing options in Premier League really are lacking. There's Rafinha, Rafinha in form if you want to play on a full cam. Uh, outside of that, it kind of is lackluster. And, and that's before we add the final player. And I'll say this for this entire team. The Premier League has some good value players this year. Which was surprising because for the longest time it hasn't. It's always been very, very overpriced. But what you'll see with this team is this is a good team. But whenever you want to go to that next level for like for players. Like you want to go above and above and for Onyenka. And if you didn't do the Atibo SBC. Which is proven to be fantastic value for coins. Uh, and even for the cam position. It's... There's a very, very limited amount of options and the price is crazy. Like if you look at striker prices, you'll know from looking at this, there's the Abangi and the SBC, 450k. He's not going to fit into this. Ronaldo's still over 300k. All the promo card strikers are very expensive. There is a, um, there is the record record uh, Edward card, which would just about scrape into this team a little bit over budget, um, probably about like 10 or 20k. But if you can put that SPC, he'll fit in here. Obviously, use him. Then, you, you know, you're laughing. If you get some good rewards, he can go in. But for us, the striker, after having a look, because I was considering um, using Rafina and putting Mane on 7 cam as striker, we're going to be using King. And that's because he has just been so good every time I've played against him. I've used him in draft. He's been good. He offers strong looks to being a hero. So if we do want a hybrid in the future, and he's 90, 99,000 coins. High medium, right footer, 4 star, 4 star. You want to put a hunter on him max the pace out max the shooting good physicals his dribbling is good for a striker the decent passing he has a finesse shot trait which is huge he's just a very very good option obviously you can use the edward card instead if you wanted to um but that's the team guys if you add your manager in uh, which we do have a prem manager i'll add it in for the sake of being able to showcase to you guys we'll add rafa benitez in um, you'll see there everyone gets on 10 chemistry except for Onyenka because he needs a position change uh, Or with loyalty he'll get on 10 chemistry uh, But everyone else is on 10 chemistry You don't have to buy position changes outside of possibly the Onyenka uh, And then once everyone has loyalty and you have the manager in place everyone gets 10 chemistry and you're laughing so Overall pricing wise, uh, if I can get onto Footbin here real quick, it's coming in at 509,000 coins on the Xbox, which you guys know that's what I use for price of my, uh, my squad builders because that's the console I'm on. It's 521,000 coins on PlayStation and on your PC, it's uh, 600,000 coins, but PC's market is very weird for pricing, so it's, it's hard to try and align it for these builders, but it's a little bit over budget. Um, but again, 9,000 coins, something at this point you'll be able to get into your club, no problem. And this is what I think is the best 
Premier League squad for 500,000 coins. If you guys have any disagreements or any other players you could possibly change, let me know down in the comments below. It's always interesting to see where different people value different things. Um, and obviously, we, have, we haven't included um, SBC players here, which would have an objective players, which would have changed things a bit differently. But I do find it's not very fair to use those in squad builders. Um, because people just maybe they don't live in the game, they don't they didn't have time to play that week, they missed out on a card. It can make it very difficult. So if you enjoyed the video guys, please leave the leave a thumbs up on the video. It's greatly appreciated. It helps me in the algorithm, lets me know you're enjoying this sort of content. Um, remember to check out the 4231 custom tactics, which will be linked down below that we post on Monday. And also there is the Ben Rama headliner just we see his 86 rated card. I just posted the player review for that earlier today, so it'll be linked down below as well. Check that out if it's still available and you want to see if it's worth completing or not. But that's me. Hit that subscribe button, help us get to the thousand sub mark uh, to get that YouTube partnership. Uh, approval and i'll see you in the next video guys thank you very much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day goodbye